Okay, welcome to the show. We are the Cushions. I am part of the Two Piece Band. I'm Michelangelo, your gracious host. And I will try to be grace being the key word. Uh, there's a wonderful quote. It goes um, something like, trying to create art without grace is like trying to fish without bait. And uh, that always really resonated with me because I kind of believe that, you know, in, in certain ways you have to, um, in certain ways, you know, well obviously you can't fish without bait, um, but I also mean, you know, it's, it's true with, with, with art, you need to have grace, it's really important, um, or else, you know, you can kind of lose sight of, of the, lose sight of the, um, bigger picture, you know, which is not necessarily something that you can, um, um, what is the word, what, what am I trying to say here, I guess it's like, yeah, it's, there, there are certain guidelines, you know, like, even, um, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder, uh, but I, I also kind of believe that, um, you know, there's certain things that are kind of universal, um, universally beautiful to everybody, you know, um, nature, for instance, is, is, comes to mind, I think about that a lot, um, I'm just doing a little wrap here, it's, um, black tourmaline and a, a ruby, and it's, um, gonna be on my pinky finger, so a nice little pinky ring, pinky ring, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a work in progress, like so many other, um, things in this world that are in the process of becoming, um, yeah, I think it's really important to just, you know, let stuff be what it is, uh, rather than trying to force it, you know, um, I think that's really how I see religion, uh, not to get too deep here, but like, to me, religion is just something that you can see for what it is without necessarily making judgments because, you know, everyone knows that um, one day we're all going to be judged, you know, by the by the one true judge. <laughs> um, I always kind of like that too. People said only, only God can judge me because, you know, it's true. I think if you're happy with yourself and who you are as a person, you know, then you can be... You know, I think that that comes hand that goes hand in hand with um, sort of having a spiritual um, outlook on life. Um, you know, whatever that means to you, it doesn't. I don't think you know that's what the whole religious thing is. It's like you don't have to even necessarily believe. Uh, I know a lot of people would say that that's not true, but it doesn't mean that. You know, you don't, you don't believe in a heaven or something. It just means that you perhaps um, see God as, as something more personal that maybe doesn't have words or, you know, goes beyond any sort of form. And, um, and that's, uh, you know, that's kind of where I'm at in my life. I, I sort of believe that in that formless beauty that doesn't really um, necessarily have like, um, you know, a gender or, um, a, uh, you know, or e even a word, I guess. Um, I, I always, I always think, it, a lot of people say, you know, God is the most, um, powerful word in, in the English language, you know, followed closely by love. And, um. I guess that's sort of what I believe, that words have power, and, you know, no matter what religion it is, we all have some concept of what we believe and what God is, and, you know, having that relationship, I think, is really important in, um, you know, in 
practicing. You know, because love, love sometimes takes practice, it takes work. You know, you can't, you can't expect, um, you know, to just have things, um, you know, just, just be, be great all the time, you know. You know, I mean, prayer is a really important thing, but it's also you have to act upon your your beliefs, and that's why they call it a practice because a practice is you know it's it's practice for you know the, the you know putting your your word, putting action to the words. Um, so I I don't know. I think it's really cool. I I don't necessarily believe that there's like a form. Like I said, like you know I don't. I just think that there's a right or wrong way to practice. I think as long as you just believe in yourself and a, a soul, and that's really all you need is, you know, just a, a sincere um, desire to want to know the truth within yourself. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, for me, that truth is kind of sharing. Um, I, that's what I realized. It's like it's, you know... It's um, it's a it's a sh it's a experience that you have to share because uh, that's the really only the real truth you know is if, if you find love to me that's it's um really important to you know have a a, uh, a way to connect you know to to be one. this better or worse I do know that we are stronger together you know as as individuals, we are simply, we are just, you know, cogs in the machine, so to speak. But I think when we become, you know, united and work as one, we are a lot stronger and, you know, um, a lot more powerful and Make real change. In the words of Kurt Cobain. A little group. It's always been with until the end. Hello, 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 hello. One last time. This is dangerous. Here we are now. Meditate us. I feel stupid. I contagious. Here we are now. Potatoes, yeah, boom, 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 Hi. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Well. Oh dang. I decided to wear the lavender. I think I've got an earache now. Did you jump in the water too fast? No. Dude, aren't we gonna go play? We're gonna go jam. This is why I started the show. Everybody, welcome to my counterpart, the other member of the two piece, the cushions. So I just want to ask my friend a few questions here. What's it like um, being part of the greatest rock band in the history of mankind? How's it feel? How's it feel when people just say that you're the uh, voice of a generation and your bass skills um, move mountains? 
do you, do you let that go to your head or is it just, you know, another day? Uh, it's similar to if you were a plant. Yeah. In the, in, in the forest. Plants. How, how would a plant feel? Yeah. Well, there you have it from the uh, man himself. How would a plant feel? On that note, we're going to take you into the studio uh, and we're going to rock out for a little bit and do a little daytime jam. So hopefully on the way, I can um, I'm gonna grab my guitar here. We've got a new bass amp we're going to try out. So just uh, bear with us. I actually have one, one thing to grab real quick that I forgot. So we're going to take this short commercial break brought to you by Calamine Lotion. It's a great topical pain reliever, uh, especially if you're like me and your dog rolls in poison ivy and you like to hug your dog. Um, yeah, so I'll BRB after the short commercial break. <laughs> 